your host, Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Star Wars Day coming up. And on May the 4th, normally we go out, we find some exclusive action figures, and we bring those back and we have fun with them. But this year's a little different. We're locked indoors. We're under lockdown. We're avoiding going outside and saving the NHS and all that good stuff. So this year, it's a little different for us all. And we're having to celebrate Star Wars indoors. But that doesn't mean Star Wars Day is cancelled. There's still so much fun you guys can have at home. And I want to take this video as an opportunity to show you all the cool Star Wars fun I'm going to have this year in my own home with my family. So let's get on with today's video and let's show you all the good stuff that we're going to be getting up to. So we're going to be doing... Uh, so we're going to make some blue milk and I'm going to show you the recipe that I use for my blue milk. Uh, we're going to gamble for the Millennium Falcon in a game of Sabacc. We're going to have, read some Star Wars comics and I'll recommend which ones I prefer to read this time of year. Uh, we've got chewy flapjacks and the recipe for those. And we're going to have a go at making a Star Wars jelly in the, in the Carbonite Han Solo mould. And of course, it's not Star Wars Day without some movies. So, let's get on with today's video and the first thing that makes Star Wars Day fun for us. So it's not Star Wars Day without listening to a little bit of music. And there's no better thing right now than on YouTube because Walt Disney World and Disney Parks have put the entirety of Ogre's Cantina playlist on YouTube. That music you're hearing right now is straight from DJ Rex sent to us across the galaxy. And it's such a fun playlist. There's about 12 or 13 songs on there, all ad-free. And they're just really nice songs and they just flow together and gives you the atmosphere of being in a cantina. Now yesterday, me and my family had a game of Sabak. And you know what? We played this tune while we were playing it. Let's roll the footage. So this right here is the Han Solo a card game brought to you by Hasbro. And it is known in the Star Wars universe as Sabak, I believe. And this is part of Hasbro's gaming on a part of the release for the Han Solo movie. And this card game's a lot of fun. It's the closest to zero that wins. So every player gets dealt two cards at the beginning. And the green cards are plus figures and the red cards are minus figures. So as you can see right now, I've got three cards in my hand. You can pick up another card if you want and discard a card um, as the turn goes. And then you roll the dice. And if the dice land on two of the same icon then everybody must discard their entire hand of cards. As you can see right now, I have a plus 10 and a minus 7, giving us the difference of 3. So that means I'm on a 3, and it's the closest to 0 that wins. And, uh, roll the dice, and they're two separate icons, so we're going to keep the cards this turn. And you go around the table and reveal who's got the best cards, and the best person with the lowest to 0 wins. It's as easy as that. Now you're going to back you. I'm so staying. Either going to vacuum or you're going no, to stay. I'm staying. Staying. Well, then. Do we not roll the dice now? Do we roll the no. dice last time? No. No. No, I don't think you did it. Right then, five minus two is three. Two. Zero. One. With the ending of Clone Wars, uh, I know not a lot of people have tuned in to watch Rebels before, so I think as a perfect stepping point because of how Clone Wars ended. It's a great time to pick up this comic from Marvel. It's the Kanan Jarrus comics. It's about him as a child surviving Order 66 and how he became a part of the Rebel Alliance later on. So this is a great step off comic, especially where the Clone Wars is ending. So this is a perfect way of continuing that story. As well, guys, Missy Soup Sorrel made some chewy flapjacks based on Chewbacca and the sash and things like that. So let's take a look at the baking that we did this week. As this May the 4th is a little bit different to the usual May the 4th that we normally have, me, Mrs. Soup Sorrel, and Soup Sorrel Jr. are going to show you some surefire ways that you can still have a great Star Wars day in your own home. First up, we're making some carbonite jelly. We didn't have any random colours except red, so we're going to have some red raspberry jelly. But it's inside the Han Solo carbonite mould, so I'll show you more about that when it comes. We're going to make some carbonite freeze for dessert. And uh, Soup Sorrel Jr. down here. Say hello, Super Soldier Junior. Hello. What are you making with Mummy? You're going to make some flapjack. Yeah. We're going to make some chewy chews flapjack. We're going to make it look look like Chewbacca, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what and what noise does Chewbacca make? Wah, wah. No, that's the Ewoks and Jawas. What noise should we make? He goes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> 
Laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> so, we're going to vlog and stuff today as we make these recipes, and Mrs. Super Sorrel is going to show you how to make them, and we'll talk you through the recipe, so I'll hand you over to Mrs. Super Sorrel. So, Lynn, what have you baked for Star Wars Day? I made Flapjack, and I tried my best to make him into Chewbacca. Chewbacca's. Yeah, so you see we've got the, it's the colouring of Chewbacca with the sash, and then the white lines across it. We tried to recreate that as best we could with the white lines, it but it, it wasn't easy to do with the icing. But we've managed to do something. It looks it resembles Chewie, in my opinion. Yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll get it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go devour these now in the garden. Nom nom nom. Damn, for taste test. Taste test. Taste test. Taste test. Taste test. Mm. Is it your bacon? Yeah. And what have you made? Wow, why what uh, what makes those Star Wars? What other? Um the lightsabers and a man. Lightsabers? Yeah. Oh, and who's is that lightsaber at the top, that big one? Um that um Who has the double bread lightsaber like that? Darth Maul. Darth Maul, yeah. Yeah. And who has a blue lightsaber? Ray. Ray. Mm -hmm. And who has a green lightsaber? Yoda? Yoda. <laughs> and who has a single red lightsaber like that one? Um, who has a red lightsaber? Um, Darth. V. Um, v. Vader. Darth Vader. Cool. And who has the really pale blue one? Um, Is that Aso? Aso? Aso Katano? Yeah. Yeah, Soka has a really pale blue lightsaber. She has two lightsabers, didn't she? Mm. Yeah. That's her last saber. Yeah. It's a little short one, isn't it, with the big blue one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Do you enjoy baking us with Mummy today? I, I made this one. I know. That's a big, big lightsaber. Can you say May the 4th be with you? Frost be with you. Alright, guys, here's our jelly mold. This is the Carbonite Han Solo mold. So let's see if it's made a carbonized Han Solo jelly for Star Wars Day. This is where it all falls apart. So this is where it all goes completely wrong. Is it even big enough? No. Just. Oh. <laughs> Don't laugh. Paige, Paige got ready. Let's go do this. Tip it up, tip it up, tip it up, tip it up. <laughs> oh. Is it coming off? No, it's not. <laughs> it's such a sight on my lips too. I'm going to get it now to get around it. <laughs> it's stuck. Right, hang on, and then. Yeah, we have to <laughs> break the seal around the edge. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Take two. Take two. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> um, that didn't work. You can see his head. Where? There. Oh, there it is. Turn around. You can see it a little bit. Not by much. Show the mold thing. That's the mold itself. <laughs> kind of doesn't work. Kind of does, kind of doesn't. Either way, Paige is going to eat some jelly, so she's going to be happy. It might work better with cake. Might work better with cake. Is that your way of saying, try something else today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that well that didn't work, so let's go make some blue milk. Right, guys, let's make some blue milk. We're gonna make some bamfer milk right now for Star Wars Day. So, in a food processor, we're gonna use some Dol Monte pineapple chunks in juice. So let's try and pour some of that juice in there. And then we're gonna need a hockey ball or a spoon. Those nice fresh chunks in there as well. Now I'm making enough for, for two people because I think Super Soul Junior wants some blue milk, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna save enough so we can make some more another day. Yeah. Okay, so a few more. There we go. 
Okay. Don't touch that bar. And then we're just going to use some just ordinary milk. We use the green top milk because it's just a little bit easier on, my, on the belly. And we'll just pull that up to there. And then we're going to use a little bit of a little blue food, blue food coloring just to give it that blue tinge. He's all going blue. All going blue? Right, we're going to mix it. Yeah, we're going to mix it now. Are you ready? Like that, He's about to get loud. Nice and easy. Got the Star Wars glass. Blue milk. And finally guys, it is the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. So there's no better time to sit down with your family and re-watch that epic movie, Empire Strikes Back. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it's given you a few ideas of things to do that you can still do at home this, uh, this um, Star Wars day. It is a little bit different, guys, but make sure you make some blue milk, make some snacks, and enjoy Star Wars, guys. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel. Thank you very much for watching. And may the force be with you.